Yo, what's going on guys? JBH here and today I am back on F1 2020 where we are going to be hitting up the big one. This is the Monte Carlo Grand Prix or Monaco Grand Prix around the Monte Carlo street circuit. Get it the right way around. So round number seven in this career mode season. I've had one points finish so far this year. That was at Bahrain where we managed to scrape into the top 10. But since then, it's been a little bit hit and miss. I had a really good run going at Zandvoort in the Dutch Grand Prix until I screwed it up with a terrible, terrible strategy decision. I was supposed to come in and pit for my sort of one pit stop on the slicks, but it started to piss it down. I thought, oh, is the track going to get wet enough? I'll try come in, go straight on to the intermediate tyre, but ended up not getting wet enough for the inters, so I ended up just finishing last like a lap down, but anyway. So, hoping to get a much better result today. I have managed to qualify 7th, which is an awesome result, considering how important qualifying is around here. This Alpha Tauri car that I'm driving this season is getting much, much better race in, race out. We've managed to get a lot of upgrades just through doing the objectives in practice. As you can see, Lewis Hamilton and Valtteri Bottas on the pole. Oh, on the front row, I should say. Now, I have actually gone and downloaded, because I am racing this on the PC, uh, downloaded a mod that uh, has updated the Mercedes skins to what it is this year, the sort of black um, skin with the black suits and everything like that. So that's one update since my previous video on F1 2020. Not that I don't, <laughs> not that I think we'll get anywhere near the Mercedes in this race. But at the end of the day, this race, I just cannot hit the wall. We've got the damage set to simulation. Um, I learned in the F2 race that I did, I didn't upload the F2 race because I had a glitch with my recording software which really screwed me over but uh, yeah so no F uh, F2 this weekend but yeah as I learned in the F2 race you cannot touch a wall because you will literally lose a slight amount of your front wing then you'll lose another bit and it, and it just builds up to the point where you have to replace it and you're screwed so yeah we're going to be doing a one-stop strategy race uh, it looks like we're going to be starting on the soft or well, the faster strategy is start on the soft then move to the medium and finish up from there you can you can actually run the super soft tire here but it just doesn't last long enough for the race itself so 39 laps is the actual race distance i've got it set to 50 percent difficulty wise i've got it set to 100 percent so not maxed out because i feel like 110 is a little bit too op uh, but yeah here we go setting off on this formation lap oh, this is going to be a long tough one i just got to keep it clean it's so easy to touch a wall here Lay some black marks down. Turn that volume up. Struggling to hear it right now. But yeah, setup wise, managed to find a setup on the Steam Workshop. I just don't have the time to build a setup for myself. Not with the uh, limited sort of tires that you get throughout the weekend. And also, I try not to do too much practice because I don't want to use too much of the actual uh, engine components or wear the engine components too fast when you get selected amount before you have to start taking group penalties here we go Monaco Grand Prix on F1 2020 lights out come on get good getaway just about nearly put that Red Bull in the fence <laughs> Cold tires, aero wash, that one. <laughs> this is sketchy. Alright, do we make a move? No, I'm not gonna do it, not gonna do it. Cannot fit two cars around here. I'm terrible when it comes to corner names. I think, is that Casino? I think it's going, this is something by the sea or. I don't know. This is the something tunnel? Mont Blanc tunnel? I don't know. Anyway. Let's focus on the racing. I just feel like any self-respecting F1 fan should know the names of the corners around here. Oh, that's not much grip. Just about got away with tapping the barrier there. No, no, no. Turn, 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 turn. There's no grip on this track right now. Tires to get up to pressure. Now, as you'll probably notice, you can definitely get away with using a lot more curb on the game than what you could in real life. 
So it's not overly reali realistic in that fashion, but if, I, if, <laughs> if they made it super realistic around here, I don't think anyone would finish a race. The thing is, these cars are so stiff. There's so much downforce. And although I haven't driven one, I have driven other high downforce sort of open wheel cars and you feel every little bump or every little slide and without that around here in these cars I just don't know how you drive it so they've made it a little bit easier for us <laughs> with being able to catch slides and use more curbs but someone's hit something See, someone hit the wall. Or? Who's that? Oh, that's a that's Bottas. Okay, so that's a free spot. And we're up into fifth. This is looking good. Any mistakes, Joseph? Okay, we're in a Red Bull sandwich right now, it would seem. Oh shit, that's too much curb. I have got the um, corner cutting sort of set to regular, not strict. I feel like strict, it's a little bit too strict. So yeah. I'm trying to drive realistically and not overdo it, but sometimes I do outbreak myself. Exhibit A. <laughs> oh, I just got no bloody traction. Must have been my, my lap in qualifying to get me to where I am right now is, is absolutely insane. So I don't probably have the pace that I should be to be running in this part of the field. Or this high up, I should say. Just hope we don't get taken out. Just wondering where I should use this. Uh, so I think I might use it on the front stretch. I have been using it out of that swimming pool corner. Oh, no, not swimming pool. That's down here. The seafront corner or whatever it's called. The corner before the bloody tunnel. So box in this lap, hopefully. Oh, who's this? I don't know who that was, but actually, duck in this lap, hopefully get a safety car, that'd be nice. It's not in a very easy place to remove. Come on, BSC, where you at? Surely that's got to be some sort of safety car oh, maybe not all right good entry in and out let's go boys Make this a quick one. Exit, exit now. 2.8, not too bad. Not terrible, but not great. All right, on this tire to the end. That was our last stop. No more scheduled pit stops. 
Uh, such a dodgy pit exit. Expecting less grip. Gotta have a good outlet to get back in front of. Back in front of what's his name? Oh, shit, we can have traffic here. Got to have a good outlap to get back out in front of Alvin, but we've got traffic, so... I mean, I had to pit because I was losing a bit of time on that soft tyre, but anyway. No, 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 no. Jeez. Such a tough corner. That is, I reckon, the hardest corner on the track, that bit. So Albin's in, and we've gotten out way ahead of him. Awesome. Good job, guys, in the pit lane, my AI pit crew. We've got a massive gap. Had a very good in. That's probably the best pit stop cycle we've had all season. But the problem is, we are stuck in a mess. So the question is, do I just sit here? save the tyre, or do I actually try and make a move? Because all these guys are going to have to pit. I might save up some overtakes, see if I can just do it properly on a safe part track. Because in the F2 race, it was next to impossible to pass. Oh. Alright, that's one area. It's just so hard to get a car wide enough through there. I mean, these cars are so wide these days. This was the sort of area I chose to pass in F2, but as you can see, these cars are so much wider. We get him here. Maybe if he didn't have DRS, but unfortunately he does. Just can't overwork the tyre here, you have to be sensible. Exit out of here. Ah, that wasn't a good exit, Joseph. Yeah, boys, that's what I'm talking about. Whew. That wasn't easy. Great maneuver. You made it look easy. <laughs> it was not easy. Even if it is a Williams and we have way more pace than a newer tyre, that was that was not easy. Oh shit! All right, one down, one to go. Well, one more Williams to go anyway.
pushing the car ahead, but be aware that these tyres need to last till the end of the race. There we go. There's another one. Alright. Good thing is Albon is not managing to find a way to get past, which has given us a gap. Get it done there, that was really annoying. Oh, that was not easy. Yeah, boys, that is good. That wasn't. I promise I'd locked the front a bit there, it's gonna wear it out a little bit. Alright, let's try and get away from Albon here. Without using up too much tyre. I think Verstappen's caught in traffic in front of us as well. Gap to car in front is 5.5 seconds. Build up some more overtake over the next lap or so. All right, well, we, it's just as we catch Verstappen, um, Giovinazzi pits, so looks like we're stuck here for now. Got plenty of time on Albon. He's eight seconds back after we managed to get past that traffic. So, all is good. Oh, well, I don't know how, but somehow Stroll has gone behind us. So he went long on the first in and has managed to put the hard tyre on and come out in front of Albon, which means that I don't, well, I don't know. We'll see what his pace is like. Right now it's the same as us, which is kind of good for us because it means he'll hold off the Red Bull. Yeah, don't really have anything for Verstappen in front of us. That Red Bull is just too quick. But we shall move on. Got to protect this tyre, that's the main thing. Oh man, sweat in.
Alrighty, so eight laps to go. This last sort of 20 laps have just been running by myself. Just monitoring the gap between myself and Stroll behind. We've just about kept pace with Leclerc, but have not really kept pace with Verstappen. Just do not have that amount of grip. Yeah, just monitoring the tyre, or managing the tyre, I should say. Trying to stay out the fence. Not too much action right now. Alrighty, two laps to go. Chilling in fifth place. Yeah, this is seems easy by watching it, but so much concentration required to keep this car at this pace without touching the fence. So right now I am pretty <laughs> pretty stuffed. Uh, two laps to go. I'm just going to coast this thing to the finish and hopefully get ourselves a top five which will be a huge chunk of points considering what car we're in now I've really enjoyed this race even though it hasn't been very action-packed for the sort of second half still nonetheless I mean these cars are just getting so ridiculously quick I mean compared to what it was I think last time I drove around Monaco on an F1 game where I've been F1 2015 or 26 no no 2014 or 2015 it was one of those two and it's just so much quicker now like I, I don't remember it being this ridiculously quick like how, how deep you can go into corners and the sheer minimum speed you can carry is just un insane not to mention the width of these cars these days as well I mean I did drive F1 2017 but I don't remember driving Monaco and the, yeah, the sheer width of these cars is just absolutely nuts. So, making those passes earlier on in the race was, yeah, that was, <laughs> I was not too confident. Oh, and there we go. Just for good measure, we'll, we'll take a chunk out the wing on the last lap. There we go. <laughs> I knew I was going to do that at some point in this race. I didn't think I was going to do it on the last lap, but as you can see, just the sheer steering lock and, and width of these cars, just, I could not... <laughs> I've just about got it right 38 out of 39 times, but uh, I'm falling apart here. There's no front down force. But anyway, coast this thing to the finish line. And pick up a top five. Our teammate, well, we should have had a top five in Bahrain, but our teammate sort of got one instead after I, again, screwed the strategy up. But... Fifth place at Monaco, hell yes. Oh man, that is, I'm absolutely wrecked, but that is awesome. Whew. And relax, man. My, my arms are actually sore. Uh, even though I've only got a G29 wheel, my arms are actually sore after that. But the Ferraris were definitely a lot quicker in this race than what they've been in previous races. Um, definitely the Ferrari chassis this year is, is nowhere near as good as what it's been in the last sort of two, three years. But... Around here on F1 2020, Monaco, they've been pretty good. I was shocked the Red Bull weren't quick. Alrighty, there it is. Tenth up inside the top ten. So we're ahead of our teammate by one point. I mean, our goal is definitely to be the best of the rest. And a top five today is more than better what I was hoping. We beat a Red Bull, one of the Mercedes DNF'd. And yeah, that is that. Thanks, guys, for tuning in. I hope you enjoyed today's race. And until next time, catch you guys later.